yeah well, i mean why not uh, it's kind of an interesting concept and right now it's probably the only way to compete internationally in a way i didn't do it really for the sake of competition just for the i don't know sake of um, um showcasing my flying a little bit uh, because right now people don't really see other flyers so much we don't meet at the competitions and we don't see other flyer, flyers levels and how uh, they develop and all that stuff and we don't really like we only talk to each other online so it was just a some way of exposure and kind of fun i don't know it's a fun thing to do I opened the world of wind tunnel flying for myself and fell in love with it, especially freestyle. It's all about creativity and passion. And I love being creative. Yeah, I thought it would be a good idea to put this out because uh, people around the world don't have too many freestyle coaches around them. Where it's like very few of us around the world and we cannot hit every single possible tunnel. Like we do cam camps here and there, but some places are unreachable yet, but people still want to learn. And I just uh, decided to do some basic exercises for people who want to start doing freestyle to have like this um, entry point like where to start the question is always where do I start if I want to learn that so that, that was my intention to give them a little bit of a starting point and something to work on today we're going to talk about uh, rotation from the ninja position into the sit fly head up and back to ninja I like to create things in general like when I'm flying I like to create new things new moves I like to create new routines it's a form of art in my opinion even though it's a sport in a competition but it's as well as a form of self-expression 